Hey everybody, welcome back to the Workman's Whiskey. I'm Bobby. Uh, haven't talked to you guys since before Thanksgiving, so hope everybody had a great Thanksgiving. Um, the holidays are upon us. Uh, Christmas is coming up before too long, guys. Um, here we are. I think today's I think it's November 30th already. Um, time's just slipping away. Uh, but as I said, Christmas is coming up. Um, going to get our tree, not this weekend, but uh, but next weekend. And uh, guys, I'm always kind of on the lookout around Christmas time uh, for good deals. Um, sometimes I find them, sometimes I don't. Went to one of the uh, local stores around here to see if they had any, uh, you know, holiday discounts or anything on on uh, any kind of whiskey we haven't reviewed yet. Um, there wasn't a lot there, to be honest with you. But one thing they did have, uh, they had this little basket up front. With all these little uh, fun-sized bottles of uh, of different kinds of whiskey and uh, tequila, rum, whatever, um, and saw this one, Ezra Brooks Straight Rye Whiskey, and uh, you know what? I have no shame in uh, getting these little tiny bottles. You guys shouldn't either. Um, you know, if you if you see something you want to try out, why not? Um, with Christmas coming up, these things here make awesome stocking stuffers. So if any of my family is uh, is watching, um, keep that in mind. Uh, but the other reason I got this bottle here, this uh, Ezra Brooks Straight Rye Whiskey, is because I like Ezra Brooks products. I've had the the ninety proof. Um, we've just we reviewed the. Uh, the 80 proof blended uh, blended bourbon, I think it was, um, either in the last review or the one before it. And uh, I really like their stuff. And I saw this, and uh, this store did not have any full size bottles of Ezra Brooks Rye. So, gotta admit something to you guys. I, uh, so I got a, a couple of these initially. A dollar twenty nine a bottle. I mean, you can't beat that. Dollar twenty nine for a for a bottle of this. These little bottles here. Got two, and uh, tried one that first night, and I thought it was really, really good. I really enjoyed it. For a dollar twenty nine, went back the next day, and uh, bought out the rest of them. They had a little. They had one more in that little uh, case that I got this one out of. But then they brought out this little uh, little tin pack and uh, little plastic um, container thing, and uh, so I bought them all. And for uh, for fifteen bucks, I was able to fill up this uh, old Kirk and Sweeney bottle. It's a rum bottle, I know, but uh, which is it's a good rum, by the way. If you guys uh, like rum at all, rum is kind of my number two to to whiskey. So. Uh, anyway, so kept this old bottle around and, uh, filled it up with, um, Ezra Brooks Rye. So there it is. We'll pour from this one just so you guys don't think I'm pouring something else into, uh, into the glass today. But, uh, for 15 bucks, shoot, pretty much a full bottle of whiskey there, guys. Uh, just about. So let's open this up. And guys, um... Ezra Brooks Rye, straight rye, uh, it's, here I'll read you the bottle here, it says, um, let's see, straight rye whiskey, aged 24 months, uh, in new charred American oak barrels, um, charcoal, uh, charcoal mellowed, it's distilled and aged in Indiana, it's an MG pre, uh, MGP um, product, uh, bottled by Ezra Brooks Distilling Company, St. Louis, Missouri, uh, and it's 90 proof, guys. This stuff's 90 proof. Um, I really love straight rye whiskeys, um, to be honest with you. It's 95% rye and 5% uh, malted barley. So, uh, not from the same place, of course, but it's the same mash bill as uh, Old Overhaul, you know, another straight rye. And I really enjoy these uh, straight rye whiskeys. Uh, rye is a very um, 
I know a lot of people who don't like rye. They don't like that spiciness in the whiskey. Um, but I love it. I really do. Um, rye is America's oldest, uh, oldest whiskey. You know, uh, when people came uh, west on their wagons from, uh, from back east, you know, Pennsylvania and um, areas over there, you know, they brought uh, rye with them because, you know, it held up, um, made the, you know, the trip across the country. It was plentiful. And, uh, you know, they had extra rye. They wanted, they needed something to do with it. So they uh, turned it into whiskey. So I'm a big fan of rye. And, uh, you know, I'm, uh, I'm glad I found this one. As I said, a buck 20, a 29 for these little guys here. I believe for a full-size bottle, um, this... If you can find it, I haven't been able to find it in a full size, so I made my own full size bottle. Um, but I think you can find it for like 15 or 20 bucks, so not bad at all. Um, and uh, that's pretty much it for the introduction here, guys, to uh, Ezra Brooks Straight Rye Whiskey. Um, it's tw uh, 24 months old, so two years old. So it's, uh, it's pretty light in color there. You know, kind of light gold. But, uh, you know, that doesn't, that's not everything to me, you know. Um, I love some, uh, I love a lot of ultra-aged whiskeys, but I can appreciate a, a young whiskey as well if it's done the right way. So, uh, let's take a nose here. And on the nose, guys, I'll say this, it doesn't have a huge nose to it. Um, when I first... Actually, when I when I poured all the little bottles into this one, you know, washed this out, you know, washed this bottle out uh, pretty good, pretty well, and uh, poured all the little ones into here, took a big old nose from it, and uh, and you can really uh, you can smell a lot of rye, a lot of spiciness, um, but also another thing I got was uh, sourdough bread. So you get the, the rye spice, the uh, kind of sourdough uh, type uh, nose to it. And not a whole lot else, guys. I mean, maybe some um, uh, some grain, you know, some hay or something like that. But uh, not a whole else, uh, whole lot else on the, on the nose there. Let's uh, take a sip. And on the uh, the palate, guys, I find the palate to be a lot, a lot more pleasant than the nose. Not that the nose is bad; it, there's just not a whole lot to it. On the palate, I really like this one. And uh, like I said, if I shoot that first night that I bought the first two little bottles, if I hadn't liked them, I wouldn't have bought any more. But I really did like them a lot, you know. So filled up this bottle here. Um, and it's just got, it's, it's a really, uh, I'll say classic, um, rye taste, you know, rye whiskey taste. Um, nothing fancy, you know, it's, uh, you get that rye in there, you get, um, some, uh, some like wet wood, uh, like a, almost like wet sawdust, um, which I really like. I find that pretty appeal appealing myself. Um, a little bit of like a dill thing going on, like a brine, brininess, um, just a little bit, not too much, uh, but not a whole lot of, uh, not a whole lot of sweetness, guys. I mean, there may be a little bit of uh, sweetness in there. Let me see. Very light sweetness, you know, maybe some, uh, uh some, uh, toffee type sweetness to it it's not a you know there's no corn in this uh mash bill so you're not going to get that typical uh you know corn whiskey sweetness uh, you get a lot of spice some as i said some like sawdust uh, some a little bit of graininess um you know i mean just tasting the uh probably mostly the rye but uh also a bit of a uh, little bit of that barley in there and uh, it's just, 
it's a really simple but really good rye whiskey. And I know a lot of people don't like that a lot of these uh, rye recipes are coming out of um, Indiana now. You know, they're being made at uh, the same place, a lot of them. But uh, I like them, guys. I mean, no matter where they're from, if it's good, it's good. And uh, this one's definitely good. Um, you know, if you like rye whiskey, I recommend trying this. Uh, like I said, you can find these little stocking stuffers here. This is a little, little drop in there. Um, but this is a, this was a dollar twenty nine for this little guy, and then uh, you know I think twelve of them was like fifteen bucks. So um, it's worth it, guys. Try it out if you can find it. Um, and uh, that's about it for this one, guys. Keep this uh, nice and short and sweet. Um, I have another review coming up soon. Uh, it's going to be another little bottle like this because. Another reason these bottles are good when you don't have space. Um, I'm trying to, I have a little bit of space right now, but I'm trying to keep my, my cabinet somewhat clear. Um, Christmas is coming up soon, but uh, before Christmas, my birthday's coming up soon too. So never know if I might go out and, you know, splurge a little bit. Um, do something uh, that I've been wanting to review. And uh, so you got to keep the, uh, the space available. And there's nothing wrong with trying uh, these little guys out. So, like I said, $1.29 for this, um, about $15 for the big one, I think. Uh, the, next, the next one we're trying out, uh, I believe, costs like 3 bucks for a little bottle. Uh, and it's like a $20 um, Irish whiskey, guys. It's Irish. So, uh, it's one that I've been wanting to try out for a long time, a name that most of you will uh, will know about. Somebody told me it's their favorite favorite Irish whiskey, uh, and for some reason I've never had it. So I won't even uh, you know it's just a little tiny bottle, so I won't even sample it. I'll just go into it a uh, blind taste test uh, for our next review. So uh, that's it for this one, guys. Hope you're all doing well, and um, I'll catch up with you guys in a few days. Until next time, cheers. And I forgot to give this a rating, so <laughs> I'm gonna give this one. Let's give this one a an 84 out of 100. It's just a nice, simple rye whiskey, you know. No, uh, nothing fancy. It's just a classic rye whiskey. So, again, guys, that's it, and uh, talk to you guys soon.